Hi there, I'm Cameron Randall from West Virginia University, and I'm here in San Francisco for the 26th APS Annual Convention. Um, my collaborators and I were interested in understanding dental treatment-seeking behavior, and we wanted to know what sorts of psychosocial variables would predict dental treatment-seeking behavior over the long term. So to test this, uh, we surveyed about 12 years ago 600 people coming into an emergency dental clinic and at uh, West Virginia University and we asked them um, a bunch of questions related to oral health behavior and we also administered the dental fear survey, the fear of pain questionnaire and the dental belief scale and then uh, by way of a retrospective chart review we looked at the uh, dental treatment seeking behavior of uh, 80 of these participants um, uh, randomly selected from the larger sample uh, to see what sorts of things might predict dental treatment seeking behavior and the types of behaviors they would engage in in the dental clinic. Uh, first, we found that uh, fear of pain, dental care related fear, and negative beliefs about dentistry all were uh, highly and significantly correlated. What we did then was we uh, grouped our participants into two different groups, those who over the 10 year period sought treatment symptomatically, so those who went in for emergency treatment only, we also took a look at uh, another group, those who came in for asymptomatic or preventive dental treatment. What we found was that uh, dental fear survey score and dental beliefs scale uh, scores were uh, predictive of the type of treatment these folks would receive. So those with higher levels of dental care related fear and more negative beliefs about dentistry were less likely to receive asymptomatic or preventive care over the long term. We found um, that education also was a predictor of the type of treatment people would receive over the long term. Those with less education were more likely to have extractions, and those with more education were more likely to have restorations and to save teeth over the 10-year period. Lastly, we found that for fearful participants, those uh, who were reporting higher levels of dental care related fear, fear of pain, and more negative beliefs about dentistry, pain was the thing that brought them into the clinic. Um, so, so pain was this kind of motivating uh, factor for seeking treatment. This is an important study because it uh, tells us a little bit more about uh, dental treatment seeking and it provides uh, some different avenues and some different targets for intervention so that we can improve uh, treatment seeking behavior over the long term in the dental clinic and perhaps in other healthcare contexts as well.